Welcome back to Northern Ontario. My name's Dave and this is McCarroll Sighting, my in-scale lamp. Today we're going to finish up with the, uh, the repair in place, the uh, rip shed that's going to go in the yard. Um, I've got all the pieces cut out. I've got them here and we're just going to go through the quick assembly of this. I don't have the roof made yet because I don't want it until it's the, the body of the, the, uh, the shed is made. Uh, I, I, I don't have real roof measurements yet, so we won't be putting a roof on it today. So what have I done? Well, the first thing I did was, and I'm going to go to, I think six is what's, what's, what's up next. Yeah, there's six. So, I made, made the trusses. And what I'm doing now is I'm gluing the other trusses, the, these box trusses, onto the frame of the uh, of the building. So right now I've got that much made, and I'm just going to keep going until it's until I'm done. Um, and I may actually put this on a time lapse because I'm not sure how long this is going to take or how frustrated I'm going to be. I've already been frustrated once this morning. So, a couple of dabs of CA, and a box beam, and you can see why I would be frustrated by this thing, because it's, and get some activator in there. Okay. okay. Then I take the next one. We only do one side. Put that in place. I'm using uh, Starbond medium uh, weight uh, super glue. Okay, it's a trick to get this to go together. There we go. Now I'm not putting in all the girders right now. At the, as I go along. I want to get this into a structure that I can hold and then I'm going to get some tweezers and work with tweezers and uh, continue filling in the gaps inside inside the framing here. I think we should go back to uh, where are we? Okay I know where we should go. Here we go. Preview 7. Go to 7. There we go. So now you can see where we're at here. So now the next step is put this back up on its end like this. A little bit of glue. Put this in place. And spritz. Alright, let's get another one. Next one, and again, just one side. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So, some glue here. Doesn't help much that I got shaky hands. 
And there are days I wonder why I went to Chosen Scale. I'm just going to get some glue in there. Place spritz. Oops, that didn't go where I wanted it to go. There. You can see. You can see the structure now. I've got one more truss to put in. It's going to go there, and that's more than long enough to put. A rail car in. So, this will be the last one. And once again, a little bit of glue. These Starbone glue uh, glue bottles have these very, very fine, fine little applicators. And uh, they really make placing glue placing glue very accurately and, and small amounts. going to. All right, let's just second my guessing myself on whether I was going to put in uh, six, six pieces or five. I think the five, which was the original design, is the way to go. As you can see, this is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Let's, well, let's try that again. Come on. Come on. Glue my hand to it. Why well, always make extra?
Bingo. So now we have the structure, the basic structure in place. You can see it here and there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a ridge beam, one that goes here to here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, speed up the video a bit uh, in this section because it's a kind of a rinse and repeat activity. So, goes in here. Come on. All right, I'm going to go back to the way I thought we should do it. All right. Now some glue here. Spritz it. Some glue. Glue here. And grab one. If I was more internet savvy, I would offer some of these uh, laser laser files for people to have for free. Uh, so if anybody can tell me how I could do that, just leave a comment, and I'll uh, I'll, I'll uh, see how many of these I can. put together so that you can have um, you can build build one of these yourself and last one And there we go. Uh, when it came apart here. Well, because this is N scale, it is a, a bit of a finicky work. The 
There we go. Carefully take your felt. No, oh, no, don't do that. I don't usually glue my thumb to myself, but I sure as heck. glue it to the model sometime so like I say where where are we what camera are we at here so again there is a a box car and you can see that two tracks will fit nicely inside there and uh, it's gonna be a little taller because it's gonna be up on a foundation that I'm gonna make out of uh, some uh, styrene plastic it's also going to have a base and a floor and the tracks will be embedded into the floor uh, and, uh, that's for another day so as you can see and yeah, let's go back to okay where we're at there's the overhead shot and we'll go to one so as you can see now we have a small structure I've still got lots of extra uh, beams that I can put in, and I think I will. I'll flip this thing upside down like this and slide them in in a couple of places. Uh, I'll also probably be making uh, taking some measurements from it. Right now, it is... The roof would be 170 millimeters. Um, where's my little scale end, end scale ruler? ruler. So that's what would be in millimeters. In end scale, the building is 85 feet long. So I know it's not a much. It's not that that. <laughs> <laughs> riveting a video but you can see how I've taken a picture uh, let's go let's go. where are we where's preview here we go you can see I've taken this picture whoops ran around damn it and I've created the basic structure of that building in uh, basswood uh, two millimeter basswood uh, for uh, for the layout. Uh, like I said, I think the last video I said that this this costs like thirty four euros or something like that, which is like fifty eight bucks Canadian, and uh, just a little bit of work and pottering around. I, I mean, I don't I don't spend every waking moment working on my own, but sometimes they just sit upstairs and. Uh, And design things on the on the on the laptop, and then uh, after that we uh, we bring them down here and we cut them. So I want to thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribing costs nothing. Um, uh, and uh, you ring the bell. If you ring the little bell, you're going to get. Um, If you ring that little bell, you're going to get uh, a notification when I... Okay, sorry, I'm just looking for my little j that jar of acetone. Put this, this in real quick because I don't want it to plug up. That stuff has one hell of a smell. Anyway, like I always say, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, please, please, uh, please make them. I, I try and answer any comment that 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 arrives in, with the video. Um, and again, if someone knows how I could put these files for Lightburn up up on the web, so other people could download them and build uh, build their own. Um, let me know because, like I say, I am not, when it comes to some of this stuff at my age, it's getting a little, little rough to learn new stuff. Anyway, 
So, as always, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Uh, and uh, as I always say at the end of my videos, it's your railroad. And you can build it any way you want.